Hey, what's up guys? Jake here getting mad some if my heart had wings. We're in the middle of the simulator and we're soaring through the clouds and there's this tremendous music going on. I can barely hear myself think. But let's get into it anyways. So Money selected a mode and once again we started flying. Oh, right. We were learning about planes. How exciting. It's controlled with the L and R buttons. Oh, wow, okay. You know, the music got me really hyped for this part, but then she started just explaining how planes work again, and I'm fucking back asleep again. Yeah, I can tell you right now, I am yawning. Huh. Get it? Like yawn? Yawing? Yawning? No? Okay. Good analysis, Kotori. This is good shit. Yeah, one like rolls it and the other one just makes it go left and right, Kotori. Fucking pay attention. Can we please get past this part? We we kind of get how planes work. I've seen planes before. I get the idea. Amane nodded. Mm -hmm. The rudder pedal lets you turn left and right. Like the handlebars on a bicycle! I mean, sure, whatever helps you there, Owie. While leading, leaning the bike, you turn the handlebars in that direction. If you don't, you won't be able to turn well. Using bicycles as an example, leaning the bike left or right like the al 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 alerons. And the handlebars are like the rudder. I mean, I guess, except that you're not gonna fucking flip your bike. It's, it's similar enough, I guess. Fucking whatever works for you, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's how you turn. That what else is there? There's only three things, and the other one is up and down. Oh. Look at that. Up and down came into play. Who would have guessed that shit? Oh, man. Okay, isn't that just turning, but also going up slightly? When you turn, you must use all the axes at the same time! And here I thought we only had one axe! Oh, God! Using what and when looks like it's quite in niche- What? Using what and when looks- Flying a plane looks quite intuitive. Alright, easy peasy. Let me at it, man. Let me crush this shit. Let me at him. I'm flying a plane. After ending her explanation, Amane turned on the lights. Yeah, I mean, it's just a plane. What could possibly go wrong? I'm glad we're all in agreement. When I heard unfamiliar words like Alron and Rudder, it sounded complicated. But once I tried it, it was quite easy. Did you really not know what the word Rudder was? I feel like that's a pretty basic word. Boats have those too. It's not like a complex concept. Moving the yoke backwards, forwards, left and right, and pressing the left and right pedals. That's all there is to it. Oh, we're doing flips and shit. You better buckle up, kids. We're going hard in the motherfucking paint. That's right, we don't even have engines. It's just a fucking glider. Find the wind! Okay, yeah, figure out what the wind's up to. Whatever, just get one of those wind socks on the side of the wing. Side of the wing, just the wing. You don't need to put it on the side of the wing, just anywhere on the wing. We'll figure out where the wind's at. So you mean you need knowledge, experience, and intuition? Oh no, I don't have any of those! I'm just an idiot! Oh god! We're in trouble now! What instruments are on a glider? Just, oh, you're up. Good job. Maybe like an altimeter? But even that, like, just fucking look over. It's like, oh, look, I'm super high. Oh, I can practice by looking at a computer screen. Great. Okay, got it. I sat down in front of the PC and started practicing immediately. Wow, I guess we blacked out while we were practicing. Great practice session. Man, we were there a long time. It's fucking sundown. Club activities have finished and we're on the way home. I think you mean, you're so hot. hey -o. No? Okay. Aga is fanning the chest of a sweat-drenched sweat uniform. You can just say her chest, right? She sees me looking. Don't stare at her chest, Owie, you oh? fucking gross person. Nani, nani? Your titties. Nani, I thought that was pretty self-explanatory, but I guess I'll explain it to you. She senses me looking at her chest and asks cheerfully. Well, I mean, at least she's into it, you know? Easy in. Easy game. 
You know, you should try to be a little more ladylike. Like Owie. Owie's such a little girl. Sorry, that was insensitive. I don't know what came over me there. I'm really glad we just shared this moment. I feel like we've grown closer as friends. Anyways, let's change the subject. It is, it is certainly something. She asks as she carries on fanning herself. I get a slight feeling that she's trying to show me. I think you would know if she's trying to show you her chest. I feel like that's something you pick up on right away, you know? Man, we are really just hanging it all out there, huh? Well, you know, I got to admit, my dick gets pretty sweaty in there. So if you don't mind, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, you know, whip it out and fan it. Says Kodori as she wriggles her backside around. When it comes to these two, it's all butts and titties, butts and titties. Classic those two. It's spacious and there's no effect of heat insulation from the ceiling. It's like... No. Uh, it's like a prefabricated building. There's no attic, and the heat from the sun transfers directly to the inside. It's almost like it's a garage. Even if we turn on the air conditioning, it only has half the effect. Thank you for explaining that the robot club nerds get sweaty. That's great, that's super duper. Listening to Aga's story, Kodori makes a face that says, Ew! Bitch, you were just talking about how sweaty your ass is. Don't give me that. Also, that wasn't a story, that was like a sentence. Oh no, please don't end this conversation, we were just getting to the good shit. We get to the usual folk in the road where Aga leaves us to go in the other direction. Okay, bye. Hope your tits are less sweaty tomorrow. Hey, Agatha! Huh? Do you want to get some ice cream from the convenience store? Oh, so forward, Owie. My goodness gracious. Wait, well, because your tits are all hot, and I figure ice cream will cool them down. You can just rub it all over, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? You two are saying how hot it is, and I suddenly felt like eating one. You want to eat one too, Coterie? Wow, were you not going to invite her? She's got a sweaty butt. She needs that ice cream, dude. It doesn't matter. She'll say no anyways. What? 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 Fucking Coterie hates us and people and things. I guess she likes ice cream, though. Coterie seems to be thinking about Agatha being there when she answers. Well, tough titties. She's going to be there. Okay, let's go. I start walking ahead. Great. Here we are. Nondescript store number 873. In the convenience store parking lot, I bite into the ice cream I had bought. What a fucking barbarian. You just lick ice cream. Don't be like that. You gotta savor that shit. Hanging out in front of the convenience store is one of the privileges of being a high school student. Actually, you may find this hard to believe. I know I didn't believe it at first, but anyone can actually hang out in front of a convenience store. It's not exclusive to high school students. That's just a right you have as a human to hang out in front of convenience stores. Agatha got watermelon flavor, Kodori got chocolate chip, and I chose vanilla monaka because I'm a boring motherfucker. Why? Why would you get the ones in cups? Do you not have cones in Japan? Hello? I mean, maybe just the store doesn't have cones? I guess it's just a convenience store. I don't fucking know. Seems like everyone has their own preferences when it comes to ice cream. What a deep and meaningful observation, Aoi. <laughs> Bitch, you were there. You saw how it was. It was cool, I guess. Hmm, I still don't really understand it. It was pretty tricky. I don't know, the part where you fucking fly a plane. It just feels kind of inconvenient, you know? When I think about doing something, I'm not able to do it quickly. The feeling I get when I move it and the speed... It's quite easy to steer, though. That's all you're doing is steering it. So, like, it's if steering's easy, the whole fucking thing should be easy. Well, yeah, but if there's no wind, I'm just gonna fall out of the sky and die, right? It's a fucking glider. It needs wind. That's right. Using the power of the wind to control the position of the aircraft. Of course, if the wind is strong, small movements of the controls have a big effect, and vice versa. So big movements of the controls have little effect? What? However, the glider doesn't have an engine. How astute. You can't easily speed up or slow down. 
If you do one thing, it affects everything else, and that's what makes it difficult. You can't just think about the current situation. You have to act according to what will happen next. That's true of everything in the entire world, Owie. It means that experience is needed to ride this thing. I don't know, dude. It was just a simulator, so it felt like playing a fucking video game. Well, I mean, to be honest, the simulator didn't feel that good at all. You were watching the screen, right? Dude, you have no idea. It was the most frustrating thing I've ever done. Yeah, my thoughts exactly. I love 3D simulator games. Is the flight simulator not a 3D simulator game? Yeah, th that's true. I would imagine so, because you're in the sky, and any mistake you make could kill you. I think so. I can imagine that somehow. Somehow, Aoi perseveres. How would it feel to fly through the sky in that thing, I wonder? I don't know. Probably different. We just covered this. It still feels a bit unclear. Dude, there's room for passengers in the fucking glider, right? Or we'll just tape you to a fucking wing. You can take the right wing, Agatha will take the left wing. We'll balance it. Yeah, like, actually, just do that. You can control everything with your hands. We could take turns, or maybe you could play while I'm not playing, you know? There will be those times. I'll be patient for now. That's what it seems she was saying. Without thinking, Agha and I look at each other, and we just start making out. Whoa, I ain't making the fucking wings, I'm learning to fly the damn thing. You're making the wings. Yeah. If I can quickly become able to fly by myself, I can take Coterie with me. I might be getting ahead of myself, but it's good to have a target. I, I don't know what she's talking about, but I didn't win a prize either. So fucking whatever. I go finished eating her ice cream and threw the stick into the trash can. Do you sometimes find prizes in your ice cream? I finished eating too, so I can throw my Manaka wrapper in the trash can. Whoa, whoa, easy there, girl! You're gonna give yourself fucking brain freeze! Kodori was still eating and hurriedly ate the last of her chocolate chip ice cream. It wasn't as bad as Amane, but the way she ate kind of ruined her pretty girl image. What? Yeah, because as we all know, pretty girls can't eat ice cream quickly. Then she rushed over in a wheelchair and came to throw the cup in the trash can. Does she think if she doesn't do it quickly, we'll leave her behind? I mean, we will. We will abandon her. You better fucking eat your ice cream quick. Those who don't eat their ice cream quick get left behind. That's in the code of the pilots. While we were away from Coterie, Aga had come up beside me. I don't know what you're referring to, but you are welcome. What do you mean? Yes, that was exactly why I did that, and not because I'm a fat ass who wanted ice cream. Well, well done. I don't know, did I? No, no I didn't. Looking at me as I quietly play dumb, Ega smiled cheerfully. Okay. Dude, it's cool. That took like five seconds. It's fine. Y you didn't need to rush like that. Okay, thank God. Get the fuck out of here. Okay, bye bye. Yeah, see ya. Oh, look, they're friends now. Ah! We see Ega off. She waves her hand. Then I push Kodri's wheelchair along the road back to the dormitory. Whoop, and then we went to heaven. And it looked suspiciously like a loading screen that you can just skip. So I don't know why it's there. But whatever! Here we go! Something's gonna happen. We're in the sky. <gasps> this is the sky. It has clouds. Oh! And... Why? I... Mm, I don't know why that just happened, but fine! This is fine. After school, we went to the garage and saw large amounts of cardboard boxes and tin cans piled up. That's what we're gonna make the wing out of. Yeah, oh, what a surprise! The other club members, who would've guessed? What is all this? It's cardboard boxes and tin cans. Right. Oh, Did you order a bunch of boxes and tin cans? Before Amana answers, Aga comes in after us and her eyes sparkle as she looks on. Are we actually making the wings out of cardboard and tin cans? Because that sounds like a great way to get me killed, right? Then, with a great deal of effort, we carry the materials. 
Okay, great transition, as usual. Ego goes to check them off against the purchase order. Where are we getting this money? From the school? Okay. Man, they're yeah, really free with their coin, huh? Yes. Awesome. A plus. <laughs> Seriously, what did we order? There's no way. Something must have been in the boxes and cans, right? Ego is extremely enthusiastic. In case you couldn't tell from her giggling. Whoa. Oh, that's the glider, Kotori. That's what we're gonna attach the wings to. But does she not know what styrofoam is? Is that not like a common thing? Does... Everyone knows what styrofoam is, right? What? I'm so confused by these people. That must be why there are such large amounts of other materials, too. Okay. I thought we were gonna dick around and just throw the materials around, but whatever. Kotori is also keen to start, but it's not like she knows how to make them. How do we make them? Is it something we can do here? I certainly fucking hope so, because this is where the materials are now. Right? Oh, FRP, or FERP, as, you know, the professionals call it. Well, we have enough space for the fucking glider itself, so of course we have enough space. Plus, uh, just go outside, right? Just build it there. Oh, well, if they were fucking made here, that's no problem. But what is that FRP stuff? She just explained it, Owie. Pay attention, dude. I'm not familiar with that term. She literally explained it like a second ago. Yeah, uh, I know. Agaha just said this. Strengthened plastic? It's plastic that's stronger than normal plastic. God damn it, you stupid motherfucker. Even as I say it, it still doesn't make sense. It's like they took plastic and made it stronger, dude. Not that confusing. The broken wings are propped against the wall. They are smooth and hard to the touch. Because it's a solid object, right? I thought it would be made from aluminum or something. Well, you remember how the wing broke? That's probably because it cracked. Asks Kotori as she looks at the broken pieces. Well, good thing we've got a bunch of professionals here, right? Well, you're stupid and don't know how to make wings, apparently, so buckle up, kid. Amani goes deep into thought as she too looks at the broken pieces next to Kotori. But it's okay, I'm sure we won't mess up again. Oh, look! They took plastic and made it stronger. Wow, how crazy. Reinforced concrete! It's concrete that they reinforced! Oh my god. Yeah, look. Reinforced. Concrete. Pretty self-explanatory, mate. So, concrete is weak, so they strengthened it. Mm-hmm. Yep, I think most people would have gotten that. Plastic is strong, so they strengthened it. Mm -hmm. Amazing. I see. I'll just go along with it for now. Do you seriously not still understand it? I'm not sure if I understand or not. You dense motherfucker. I'm gonna punch Owie in the goddamn mouth. As for the final details, we'll probably learn those in class sooner or later. That's the kind of school it is, where they talk about strengthened plastics regularly. I don't think there's any school like that. Except maybe strengthened plastic school. Because it's light. It's lighter. Th that's not an answer! It's light! Gliders need to be light so they can glide. Oh, so it's just what everyone else uses, so it must be good enough for us. Yeah, just go with the flow. Fuck it. We could be a trailblazer. A trailblazer, as I was about to say. Yeah, look! It's lighter. Oh, and it's cheap. So, you know, fucking yeah. I guess corrosion, sure, yes, mm-hmm. Amani agrees with each point with a nod. Like what? Teach me all the wonders of FERP. Hmm, what could those be? I don't know, fucking Google it. Wow, so interesting. Wow, a statue? Consider my mind officially blown. As she mentions the colonel, Kotori and I nod in agreement. Why are you agreeing? You didn't fucking know. I've touched the colonel statue many times, and also had silly photos taken next to it with my friends from the cycle racing club. So that's FIP, huh? 
Mm -hmm. That's actually where we got this material. We stole the statue and melted it down. Coda remembered, but I wasn't sure if she was happy because she felt the glider was somehow more familiar than she realized, or because her dream had shattered just a little. What dream? How exactly do we make them? Seriously, what dream got shattered that the kernel wasn't made of plastic? Oh, please explain it to me. I love hearing you explain things. Okay, so first you make the wing, then you cover it in furps. Oh, what do we start with? Show me. Aga opens one of the boxes that just arrived and pulls out some sort of cloth. Oh, a glass mat. Oh, cool, fiberglass. That's neat, though. Man, she's really gonna explain this entire process. Dude, yo, we should just fucking make a plane, like you guys and me. Like, it'll be dope as fuck. We're getting a play-by-play -play right now, so if someone's taking notes this whole time, we can just dive right in. And it's complete? Oh, of course. Silly me. We have to paint it. That's super important. Yeah, super easy. Well, I don't know why everyone doesn't make planes. Yeah, it's obviously much harder, stupid. Yeah, we have to attach it, which means we have to screw in a screw, and then a second screw, and then other screws as well. It's very complex. We have plans? Whoa, 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 you're talking, I don't have your lines. As Aiga takes a look at the plans, she and Amane start discussing something. Wow, this is great. Learning so much right now about planes and furps. Oh man, and I was just sitting here like a fucking potato, pretending like, yes, mm, I too understand this. The conversation moves on to things that we don't understand, which is apparently everything because Aoi's so dense. Wow, not to say you're shit at making wings, but you're fucking terrible at making wings, let me do it. Apparently. What? Kodori is surprised to hear a name called out all of a sudden. Clearly, this is a surprised face. I think it's about time for them to stop being more friendly towards each other, but... Dude, for Kodori, that was, that was friendly. That's as close as she gets. Wow, so generous of you. Yeah, obviously she's gonna fucking help. What else was she gonna do? I'll help too! Yay! Yeah, I agree. The pilot should learn how to fucking fly, you stupid idiot. They've already got three people working on the plane. Coterie gives me an uneasy glance. I'll leave it to you two then. Okay, yes, that is what I said. With that, Aga became the one in charge of making the main wings, and then got to work on making them. Amazing. What? Why don't we just fade to the outside of the school and then back to the garage? Fucking, fucking whatever. You know what? Before we learn more about planes and plastic, I'm gonna draw this episode to a close. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you like that, don't forget to like and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next week for even more If My Heart Had Wings action with yours truly. I'll see you guys then.